How you doing? All right. So, uh, on the Revel 32 Tornado, then, uh, I've done quite a few bits already. And uh, <clears throat> I'm up to undercarriage, which for some reason has always been my Achilles heel. Uh, but what I thought I would do, you can see a picture of some tyres there, some wheels that I've glued together. Uh, but what I thought I'd do is I'd just show you uh, how I'm going to paint mine. Uh, we know how to paint tyres and wheels, Mark. Of course we do. Yeah, I know you do. I do as well. But you've got to remember that, you know, there's people out there that are just starting into hobby or they might have been doing it for a while and might be one little area that they struggle with. What don't you like doing? You ask that question on any social media site. What don't you like doing on models? And you'll get numerous answers. Oh, I can't stand masking canopies. I can't stand putting decals on. I can't stand doing this, that, and so the da da da. And there's always one or two that say, I can't stand painting tyres because I always make a mess of it. So, before I carry on, there's masks available. Of course there is. We know that, uh, but then you shell it out. Uh, no wrong with that. Uh, if you can afford it, that's great. Uh, the circle cutter's available as well. And you can measure your circle and you can put your little bit of mask on and you can airbrush your tyres in again. That's great. But sometimes, you know, we, we just all can't do that. All right. So I've set my little camera up here on my phone. Uh, and basically what I've got, I will lift it up for the time being, I've got a bottle of X20A, I've got some rubber black, uh, I do normally decant my paints into dropper bottles like that, okay, because I do a lot of airbrushing, and I've got myself a little upside down pot, okay, so before I continue, what I want to do is, I want to do it all on camera. I'm going to dip a wooden stirrer into there and I'm going to add a couple of drops of thinner. Okay. And then what I'm going to do with a different stirrer, I'm going to add a couple of drops of paint. All right, this is straight out of the pot. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop that into there, look like that. Can you see that going on? I've got a tiny little fly that's knocking about. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a really, really thin, watery paint. Just go that little stir like that. Okay. Now, get rid of that. So, what's next? So this is the part that I can put that into a static position. I can move these out of the way because it's really difficult to paint and look at your camera at the same time. I'm just going to give my paintbrush a little clean because I've already done one side of the hubs, but I have the phone in portrait mode and I know that that's not really any good. Okay, so I realised the mistake and I'm going to do it again. So, rule one, Mr. Bridge, lid on. So, let's get them lids back on to our material. Alright, let's get them lids on because we didn't want to knock them off. So, I've got a nice clean brush and I've got a nice tyre there, nice wheel configuration. I have put a little bit of blue tack just on the other side. And basically, what I want to do is, I want to mix this paint up now with my paintbrush, right? And what I want to do is, my paintbrush, it's flat, alright? And I've actually <coughs> cut the end of the paintbrush as well, alright, to make it a little bit flatter. So what's the trick? So the trick is, is not to actually paint this, alright? <coughs> Excuse me. The trick is, is to dab a tiny, tiny little bit of paint as close to that rim as you dare and literally just touch it. And what's going to happen, hopefully, is that paint, if 
I do that, look, and can you see what's happening? A little bit more paint, and I'm going to do it up here. And all I'm going to do is just touch it very gently, like that. Okay, and can you see it was in round? Might just have to move my camera around a little bit. All right, and then again, where my capillary reaction has stopped. And I touch that tire like that. Okay, and can you see it going round? Yeah. And I'm gonna touch there. And because that paint is building a wall around that rim, all I'm doing is just touching like that ever so gently. Fill that gap in now. My hand isn't painting, if you notice. Alright. All I'm doing is just touch on. Like that. And because that paint has drawn itself around the hub, I'm literally just touching. Now, what I'm going to do, I wouldn't ordinarily do this, but I am going to lift it up a little bit and spin it round. I just want to try and keep it on camera if I can. And just a little touch. Like this. Not painting it. Alright, I'm letting the paint do the work. And you can see what's happening. Alright. Now, I have got that little bit of blow tap underneath. There, look. And it's coming quite handy. So again, just to right as close as you can. Alright, just a little touch there like that. Just a little touch. I'm not painting it, I'm just touching the tyre with this really, really runny paint. And what I'm doing is I'm almost pushing, pushing like that. That's an exaggerated action. Okay. Literally just touching. And if you just turn your wheel, and it's all slightly. And it is, you have got to be gentle, right? You can't rush it. Okay. But what you end up with, is the perfect one. Alright, now, I'm just going to fill a little bit of that pollen. Because this paint is really thin, I don't really want to paint the tyre with it. Oh, what are you doing there? I know I'm painting tyre with it. But, what I want to do is, when I come to actually paint the tyre itself, I want the paint to be a little bit thicker. Okay, I don't want it to be this thin. So, otherwise it, it's a little bit too opaque. Okay. Now I am using a painting action now. But, I am staying well away from that rim. Okay. You see, the paint there is almost a grey. Without getting too close to the rim, I'm just going to fill that a bit in there like that. I sound like Bob Ross, what a fantastic artist, either. Okay, and now I've got the majority of that flat area done. I'm just going to put that there like that because it is sat on my blow tap but I want to angle it towards my camera like that. Okay. Now if I just press down a little bit, it sits on that blow tap. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm literally now just going to do this. 
Now, I can't paint tyres. Well, I've just done that on bloody camera. So, you know, give yourself a little bit of credit and have a go. Alright, so I've still got quite a bit of thin paint in this little pot, so I'm going to do number two. So, it's literally, now I'm not going to start up here at top, right? What capillary reaction does is it automatically draws it. So I'm going to start down here at about four o'clock and I've just dabbed it on. Now, needs a little bit of coaxing, alright? And I am using the tiniest, tiniest little bits of action. Okay. Now, if you're tapping on and your paint isn't doing, look, there you go, there it is, look, there it is. If your paint isn't running round, and now I've left that little square there because I know at the minute I've got a lot of paint on my brush and I don't want to flood it. So I'm just going to leave that for a second. And I'm going to come up here till about one o'clock and I'm just going to touch the tire like that. All right, and can you see how it's actually coming up the tire wall? All right, and I'm just going to touch it ever so gently. And I can touch that little square in now because I know that the pain. And look how much, look how much that capillary reaction has drawn that paint around. And again, a little touch like that. There you go. Okay. It is nice when you've got a mask and you can just airbrush. But I'm sat here in the shed in the workshop. All alone, just dabbing that paint on. It's blissfully quiet outside. There's no traffic. I've got my door open. Okay, and it's ever so peaceful. All right, I'm just nice and carefully, nice and nice and carefully. And again, I want my flat spot of the brush just to touch it like that. And again, I've got quite a bit of paint on my brush now, so I don't want to fill that bit in because I don't want to flood it. But then it is, I'm going to move my tie around a little bit more and I'm going to hit it about there. Like that. Okay. And then very carefully. To use a painting action just to fill them gaps in there like that. Alright, one well, more little touch there. You can see it following the hub around. Okay. And then the last little piece. Little touch, little touch, and then it draws itself away from the hub and then once you've done that you can just fill this in so remember what I said earlier I'm not going to paint it all because this paint's really really thin uh, I just want to all I want to do is get it away from that tire wall okay so if I lift that up now and I'm going to hold it still, alright, and that paint, that action has gone right on to the tyre wall, which is where I wanted it. Yeah, look at the size of your chuffing tyres though mate, they're enormous, you ought to try a new 1 in 72. And I've got the front landing gear there, and this is like a 1 in 48 rear tyre, so again, I want to put it, I'll put it here, look. And I'll just touch my phone just to see if it'll focus. That's a little bit better. Okay. Now I'm looking over at the top of my phone and I basically just want to 
up that wall and watch that paint go out. Touch that tail wall there. And again, what it's doing is it's building a nice half a millimeter little rim. Touch it there, look. Turn it again where it stopped. Just a little touch on the side wall like that, and it's following it round. Okay, it's almost like a pin wash. There she goes. And again, it's painted. So what I can do then is if I just touch up here then, away from that hub, it will spin. Not too much paint on now, because I don't want to flood it. Alright, I just touch up here. Right, this. Now there is a tiny little spot there. You can see again that I haven't got any paint on it and it's cost me a brush. It's got too much paint on so what I'll do is I'll use that wet brush to do that and then once that paint has gone a little bit then I will fill that in like that okay I just need you to focus let's have a little look I might need to pull it back a little bit let's pull it back a little bit and go for another refocus there you go okay Trying to, trying to keep my fingers and thumbs out of the way, aren't I? Alright, so that is how I paint tyres. There's my little solution look. Okay, it's uh, two or three drops of thinner. Uh, whether you use Mr. Hobby Leveling Thinner or X20A or whatever you use, whatever medium you use, that make a really, really thin paint and just touch them sort of tyre walls, alright, and let the paint do the work. Hope that's been alright for you and I'll catch you later. Cheers.